Watering a garden is always one of the biggest questions people ask. And we are here at Pond Pro in Shawnee, and joining us is Mike Miller. And we're looking at a different type of water garden, if you will. This is actually a hydroponic system that you guys offer, and it's a vegetable garden. That's right. Tell it's, us about the system. It's sand hydroponics. It's okay. a little bit different than just growing in water like the hydroponics people are talking about. This one uses an epic chamber. Okay. EPIC stands for Environmentally Passive Integrated Chamber, okay, so E-P-I-C. You note that it has holes here on the bottom. Mm -hmm. This fits down against a rubber liner in this container, and you put gravel up to the sides here. The gravel disperses the water all the way across the bottom. And then the sand, which is all on top of this, this is a full bed of sand here, about 14 inches, and that sand then through capillary action absorbs all of the water and the roots grow way down to the bottom so you'll have a great root system that you might not have in other forms of gardening unless you've loosened your soil way down. Right, that's always one of the biggest things that we try to teach people is to do deep watering so that you encourage deep rooting. So you can feel this sand is wet but there's water all the way through it. How do I know when I need to fill this up? The top of the sand will become dry okay. so you can poke your finger in it and tell whether it's dry or not. The tubes here on the side, there's one on either side, and you would fill that up with water and or fertilizer that you might need to put in it because the sand is pretty neutral. The kit would come with the epic chamber, the liner and the underlayment and the pipes to fit it in there, and then you would supply the frame that you make, could make out of simple treated lumber and the gravel and the sand that goes in the top of it. You can extend it as much as you want to. You could make it in four foot increments wide, four foot increments long and make it as large as you want to. And I would assume you would have less disease on your plants as well because you're not doing overhead watering and getting that water and splashing That's on right. the leaves. You're, you're not going to have the growth of weeds infringing on your garden. You're not going to be watering from the top so your leaves aren't going to develop lots of different diseases and a lot of the pests aren't going to get in here that you would normally get. It's, it's tough for rabbits sometimes to climb up on here. Right. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing this kit with us. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.